Senator Dow, Representative Tipping, and members of the Taxation Committee. My name is Susan Lubner. I live, work, and own a home in Bath. And I'm here to speak in opposition to LD 1781. I will basically skip that first paragraph and speak about, in my mind, it would be really hard for General Dynamics or BIW to truly make the case that they could be going under and need a $60 million tax credit from the Maine people. I know John Fitzgerald did distinguish BIW and General Dynamics. He has a clearer picture of it than I do. So I will say BIW to truly make the case that they could be going under. The U United States government doesn't want the BIW facility to close. Uh, federal <coughs> taxpayers have already paid BIW for a contract this past uh, September. It was listed in the Portland Press Herald that says it guarantees or promises work for BIW for many years. And people have said this already, but the contract pays salaries of the workers, training, materials, and a healthy profit. General Dynamics has played on the fears of the cities, the state, workers, and I would also say the legislatures. It really kind of holds them, catches them, not only in Maine, but other states, Rhode Island, Connecticut. And it will continue to do that if we let them um, I realize that fear is a pretty powerful factor, uh, but there's so many other factors to modify this. The United States Navy does, likes geographic spread out of facilities. They don't like them all in one place um, because of uh, climate issues, because of possible terrorist attacks. They like them to be spread out. It's more of a safety valve. Um, General Dynamics is, or BIW is one of those. Gen, um, G, General Dynamics is not likely to walk away from this four to $500 million facility that has a very strongly trained, well-trained workforce. And that's been around and successfully around for over 100 years. And um, I, I would like to add with uh, Representative DeChant's piece, this whole part of these tax credits prior to them being assigned to these corporations to be evaluated, not to just give away the money, but to actually do some evaluation. Um, if you could my, summarize, Okay, please. so my, I sat in the Bath City Council back in 2013 and listened to BIW talk about their fear piece. I was one of the people, they were asking at the council at that point for $6 million in tax credits. And they were saying if they didn't, they were going to lose their, their uh, edge with Ingalls. I managed to get them to cut that tax break in half to $3 million. BIW still continues. And the last piece on this says they keep scoring contracts. In 2000, uh, they've had more contracts in the last fiscal year than in any single year since 2011. So they keep getting contracts, BIW does. So they have so much and we, and so many in the state have so little. So I ask people to support, not support 1781.